from 1997, this is Bushido Blade for the Sony PlayStation 1. Very different from your average fighting game, and one of my favorites, my roommate in college, and I lost an entire semester to this game. And we lost the following semester to Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy Tactics. If you like fighting games and you have a PlayStation 1, 2, or 3, Bushido Blade is not the easiest game to come across, but it's not one of those really obscure ones either. It is an absolute must-play because of how unique it is and how much fun. While it has a storyline mode, it really shines in two-player versus combat. In fact, we're having a rematch here. I'm playing my old roommate. <laughs> That one's for stealing my black label in 1998. Payback! Twelve years later, the rematch is on. I'm on the left, he's on the right, neither of us remember any of the button combinations. But I still remember that chick is the best character in the game. You may notice that there's no health bar. The whole thing with Bushido Blade is that you have to strike a fatal blow. And it's the most gratifying feeling when you do. There's a variety of characters and a huge selection of weapons, each of which is very different. Long sword, short sword, katana sword, and that giant Braveheart sword, and a sledgehammer, just to name a few. Each of the characters have button combinations and three stances. I think they all have three stances. You select your stance by using the R1 and R2 buttons on the PlayStation controller. You'll note sometimes the characters are holding the sword up over their head, other times they're pointing them down at the ground. Those are different stances and your attacks vary depending on what stance you are fighting in. There's a nice variety of environments to fight in, the music is very nice, and you can run around the screen holding the L1 button on your PlayStation controller. You can block, and you have a variety of attacks, including some jumping attacks. You can wound and injure your enemy by slashing them in the legs or hitting their arm. And as you can see, the games can take anywhere from one second, if you get a fast kill, to several minutes. <laughs> Nice hair. Graphically, I think that Bushido Blade has held up extremely well. Sure, it looks dated, but it's still a very nice looking game, and the gameplay itself is fast, responsive, and incredibly fun. It's an easy game to pick up and play, but a difficult one to master because the button combos are pretty tricky to pull off, and there's a lot of them. This is my favorite environment. Reminds me of the third film in the Samurai Trilogy with Toshiro Mifune. I don't mean to rub in my victory. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do mean to rub in my victory. Wounded, one arm, and I still gutted you. I love these short matches. Just when you get a really nice victory, your opponent comes back and stabs you in like two seconds in the next game. Bushido Blade is, is a game that should be remade immediately and brought out for the new game consoles. It's a completely different game than Samurai Showdown, which has enjoyed more popularity. I prefer Bushido Blade. I, I really like the short 
unpredictable matches. The single kill is the best feature of this game because if you pull it off right, it's a terrific feeling of victory that you that you don't get with other fighting games. The interactive environments are also very nice. I'm trying to, to stop him by knocking trees over. It's not working. Let's watch a longer match here, then I'll show you some of the storyline mode and the POV mode. The point of view mode where you could link two playstations together and play each other first person style. Or play the computer, which is what I'm doing here. It probably sounds cooler than it actually is. I think this game works, works far better in its natural, regular gameplay mode. The storyline is fun to play through, and I can't recommend Bushido Blade highly enough. Hunt down your copy now.